holds a long off. That's the one that uh, should cease from this sort of thing. That's a nice uh, shot by Bevan. A little bit short there. Steered away beautifully for four. That really Oh, he's gone over the top there. That's very well played by Michael Bevan. And yes, there could be three pretty important overs. If he can get a chance to uh, have a crack at the lower lower part of the order, Harbajan, he could still do a bit of damage in three overs. We've already seen uh, Ian Harvey struggle against his bowling. Michael Bevan bringing up his 50. So India ideally would like to get a wicket in this Tendulkar's last over. Oh, he's hit that one away down the square leg. It's a short deliver delivery. Oh, that's a magnificent shot. It's going way into the stands. That's a real big six. Michael Bevan deciding that he's going to have a go at Habajan Singh. And, well, that 11 runs off the over of Javagal Srinath might have been the first nail in the coffin. I think that six may be the second. It took a bit of a risk, uh, trying this one from outside the off stump. But he hit it well. Just this. Straight down the ground for four. He's absolutely smashed that. That's it. It's all over. Bevan has hit that one over the top of cover. A Australia chasing 266 for victory, did it with four wickets in hand and two overs to spare. Primarily thanks to Michael Bevan, regarded by Steve Waugh as the world's best one-day player. He finished not out on 87 of just 113 balls. Adam Gilchrist and Matthew Hayden got Australia away to a very good start. Ricky Ponting continued his poor tour and Steve Waugh slogged 17. But Ian Harvey, perhaps one of his most important innings for Australia, gave plenty of the strike back to Michael Bevan in the tight last overs. So Australia